Hey, what's up guys? Sean here with Apollo, and this is an Apple AirTag. Now, what's cool about AirTags is you can attach it to pretty much anything, including your phone, your pet, keys, or even your coworker, and track it using Apple's Find My Network. But today, we're gonna attach it to a scooter and show you how to find yours just in case it's ever lost. Okay, so trackers like this aren't anything new, and companies like Tile have been around forever. What makes the AirTag so great is it uses Apple's Find My Network, which they've been perfecting for years, and if you've ever lost your iPhone, you know how well it works. But let me explain. So AirTags use Bluetooth to help you locate your connected devices, meaning if you lose your keys at home, it'll help you locate them. But what if you're outside the Bluetooth range? Well, this is where things get interesting and why we recommend AirTags for all scooter owners if you have an iPhone. Using the Find My Network app, anytime someone walks by your scooter with an Apple device, your AirTag will then be able to ping the network and will show up on the map, helping you locate your lost scooter. Pretty cool. So after unboxing your AirTag, and how about that Apple packaging, you can immediately connect it to your phone, and just like all other Apple products, the setup is simple and straightforward. Now, after removing the protective plastic, simply hold the AirTag next to your phone and follow the prompts to connect. You'll then be asked to pair it with your Apple ID and then name the AirTag. We'll call this one Scooter. And that's it. The AirTag is now linked to my Apple ID, and I'm good to go. Hey Siri, where's my scooter? Looking for scooter. It's nearby. Pretty neat, huh? Let's go find a scooter to install it on. Okay, so I know what you're thinking. What about water and dust destroying the thing? Well, the good news is that the AirTag is rated IP67 and can be submerged in up to three feet of water for up to 30 minutes. But if you want to be extra careful, you can also wrap it in a Ziploc bag first. When it comes time to install the AirTag, we suggest installing it somewhere secure that can't be easily found or removed, but still accessible enough that you can easily replace it when the battery dies. We suggest installing it somewhere inside the deck, preferably behind the front panel. If your scooter doesn't have a front panel, you can install it anywhere inside the main deck, like on the Air or the Ghost. That's all there is to it, guys. Once the air is installed, you don't have to worry about it. Apple says the battery is good for up to one year, so when the time comes, simply open up the scooter again, swap out the battery, and you're good to go. Thanks, everyone. That's a wrap. See you on Monday. Hey, guys. Has anyone seen the new Apollo City? I can't seem to find it anywhere. I'll use the air tag. Why is it so far away? I should call Simon. Hey, Sean, what's up? Hey, do you have the new city? Mm, no. Why would you say that? You sure? Because it looks like you have the AirTag. Stupid AirTag. Uh, I have to go. I've got to return some videotapes. <laughs>